Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic is Section 20, 21 and 22 of the Factories Act 1934. Let's move on to discuss Section 20 and that relates with drinking water. In every factory, effective arrangements shall be made to provide and maintain at suitable points conveniently situated for all workers employed therein a sufficient supply of wholesome drinking water. Wholesome drinking water जो है ये provide करना factory में बड़ा जरूरी है क्योंकि ये statutory civilization है जो section 20 of the factories act बता रहा है. Furthermore, my dear students, section 20 subsection 2 ये कह रहा है all such points shall be legibly marked drinking water. ऐसे points जहां पर wholesome drinking water workers के लिए available होगा उसे legibly mark किया जाएगा as drinking water in a language understood by the majority of the workers and no such point shall be situated within 20 feet of any washing place, urinal or latrine unless a shorter distance is approved in writing by the chief inspector. This is a civilization with regards to drinking water in factory as a matter of fact. Now let's move on to section 21, latrines and urinals in factories. This is again the civilization, part of civilization, rather statutory civilization, my dear students. In every factory, sufficient latrines and urinals of prescribed types shall be provided conveniently situated and accessible to workers at all times while they are in the factory. Very plain language my dear students. In every factory, enclosed latrines and urinals shall be provided separately for male and female workers. Such latrines and urinals shall be adequately lighted and ventilated and no latrine or urinal shall unless speci specially exempted in writing by the chief inspector communicate with any workman except through an intervening open space or ventilated passage. All such latrines and urinals shall be maintained in a clean and sanitary condition at all times with suitable detergents or disinfectants or with both, my dear students. The floors and internal walls of the latrines and urinals and the sanitary blocks shall up to a height of three feet be finished to provide a smooth, polished, impervious surface and, my dear students, Washing facilities shall be provided near every sanitary convenience. Very plain language, my dear students. Very easily understandable. Section 22. Heading has spittoons. Subsection 1. In every factory, there shall be provided at convenient places a sufficient number of spittoons which shall be maintained in a clean and hygienic condition. Section 22, subsection 2. The provincial government may make rules prescribing the type and the number of spittoons to be provided and their location in any factory and such further matters as may be deemed necessary relating to their maintenance in a clean and hygienic condition by the students. This is all the statutory civilization with regards to the spittoons in the factory, my dear students. Section 2, 22, subsection 3. No person shall spit within the premises of a factory except in the spittoons provided for the purpose. A notice containing this provision and the penalty for this violation. Violation means going against the law shall be prominently displayed at suitable places in the premises by the students. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much.